Hello viewers, hope all of you are doing great. Up to this point, we have completed this login page and also we have connected this login page with the server side. Right now, if I type a username and any password, you can see if I click on login, this page is working. And you can see it is showing me a wrong password message here because I typed the password wrong. Or if I give an invalid username, if I click on this login button, you can see a prompt is coming that is saying that the username doesn't exist. Now, functionality wise, this is okay. The user is knowing that, okay, the user has typed the username wrong. But it will be nice if we can put this message, instead of showing this message as an alert, what we can do is we can put this message here below the login button. If there is any error during the login process, whatever it is, we can show the error here below this login button. That is one modification that I'm going to do in this video. And another thing you notice here, when I click on this login button, you can see there is a time lag uh, from the point when I click on this button until the time I get this response back from the server. Right now, this delay is very tiny and that's why we are not experiencing it much. But let's say this delay is a bit longer. I showed you in the previous part of the video, like this for loop was added there to induce some artificial delay on the server side you can see this this we are writing this this for loop in this asx handler that is before sending the response it just you know does that for loop so that uh, a, a delay is induced there okay now now suppose i increase this delay 10 times and now you see if i click on this login button next time you can see right now this page is active the user still can click on this button and the user doesn't know actually what is happening see after so long this prompt is coming that the username doesn't exist see here when i clicked on this button there was a long delay there right and during that point the the user will be confused now what to do did i click on this button properly or should i click it once once more and all so for the convenience purpose what we can do is as soon as the user click on this button clicks on this button then then we can make this login page inactive that is the first thing that we can do why when we make this inactive it means after clicking it for the first time the user will not be able to click it one more time or uh, no, any more times okay now the after making this page inactive also what we can do is we can show a spinner or a loader you know that uh, the, that circle that goes on and on and all a loader we can display here with a proper message like please wait indicating the user or telling the user that something is going on behind the screen so please wait patiently so these are two modifications that i'm going to do in this quick video so mainly we have to do some css work here so what i'll do is i'll be typing the code in front of you and after typing each block of code i'll also be showing you the output that way you will know which block of code is written for what purpose and for your convenience, I'll put some background music also when I type the code. Okay, then let's begin.
okay we have completed the coding now let's see what is built i type the username i type some password say and then i click on login you can see now this loader is coming it is showing us this loader symbol please wait and also the login page is now inactive till the response comes back is one thing and the other thing is you see here the response the error message if the username and password they're wrong then instead of displaying the prompt now what we have done is we are showing an animated error message in the login page itself okay then that's all i guess about the code let me show you one thing here see the loader class i have written this this inside this uh, login.php i'm using this lock screen class to create that lock screen effect and also this spinner to create that spinning uh, div now see this this loader is actually an independent feature i mean it is not that you will be applying we'll be applying this loader only to the login page it might happen that in some other pages also at some at the time we might need to show these uh, you know this loader and log the screen thing so for that reason instead of writing the css code in login.cs what we what i did is i i created a different uh, you know i created a different css file loader.css and there i am writing the code for that loader thing that is log the screen and the css for the spinner now whenever we need a loader uh, later on we'll only include this loader.css file and directly we'll be using this uh, you know lock screen and spinner classes okay guys then that much only in this part of the video hope you people got some value out of this video in the next part what we'll do is we'll design the attendance.php page what i mean is see here right now if I give type here a valid username and a valid password and I click on login, I'm redirected to this attendance.php page. Right now, this page I'm using a dummy page as attendance.php page. This page is not built. So in the next part, our task will be to design these attendance.php page. So if you want to be notified as soon as I upload that video, then please subscribe the channel. And also, at any moment of time, if you liked this video, then please click on the like button. Let me know your feedbacks or any queries or anything that you want me to explain in more details in the comment section. Your comments are quite precious for me. Please do not hesitate to write the comments. See you guys in the next part of the video. Till then, have a nice day.